Good morning, this is Derek with Overwater Overland. I am here with Joey from Athens Overland, right. who is in the process of creating new tow behinds, and this is his prototype. So Joey, you want to tell us about it today? Sure, sure, thanks Derek. <laughs> Good morning, this is Karen and Derek. Good morning. With, <laughs> or, with what? Overwater Overland. There you go. Um, so yeah, my company is Athens Overland. We're located in Southeast Ohio in Athens, Ohio. And this is our square drop trailer. It's sort of like a more rectilinear teardrop trailer. And we have a galley, uh, kitchen, and a cabin. And then, uh, so we'll start here at the front. Okay. This is where our electrical system is. Okay. And we have a super robust, really more robust than pretty much anybody electrical system. We have 400 amp hours of LiPo, lithium iron phosphate batteries in here at 2000 watt inverter, our charge controllers and the like. Um, and how much solar can it support? This has 400 watts of solar. We have a 300 watt panel on the rooftop Okay. that's hard mounted and then we have this deployable 100 watt panel. Okay. Could you put a 200 down here? Or? Yes, yes. So actually it's got, it's got two so you can put Largely, you can put you know 400 or, or okay, more. so you could get maybe up to a thousand. Uh, yeah, you get about 800 watts. Of 800, okay, there. right. So okay. we got this panel, and then he's got 300 right. up there. And and we've taken a position that we're all electric. We we came from the we started as a Sprinter van conversion company, and uh, all electric vans were kind of a, a the buzzword there. And so we've done that in the in the. Uh, square drop world that we've gone all electric so there's no explosive gas in a confined space that you're sleeping in and we use a induction cooktop and air conditioning and that all can be done off-grid and by by solar and by our large battery bank okay you know, take us around back okay cool so yeah we're starting the, in the back this is our galley kitchen and we've got wall cabinets okay and a cooler that runs off of the um, the battery and the solar okay and these compartments can be a fridge or a freezer all right how big of a refrigerator can it accommodate this is 42 liters okay and that's about as big as you can get in there yeah in this form factor okay and this is actually our second prototype trailer okay so we are pre-production and we'll have a third prototype be in production around spring okay and so uh, uh, just nice, nice big deep drawer. Yeah, storage space, and this is where the induction cooktop sits. And if you never cooked that induction cooktop, they're awesome. They, they heat faster than anything else. And the induction cooktop sits on here. Okay. Or you can just use that for extra counter space. Okay. And you have running water. Right. So I got 15 gallons of water in the chassis. And. Uh, okay, on demand right. pump. Right, right. And there's all kinds of lights. There's under cabinet lights. There's lights up here it can be and so on like those lights over here okay and this uh, hatch creates an awning correct to, to, to work under and then the hatch has a, uh, a window in it okay that is uh, that you can't see through so you can look in okay so you get some daylight when it's yeah, shut yeah right and the idea we we're trying to create was a really open Lighting space. Okay. And that letting some light in, you know, makes it kind of a more uh, inviting space. And here is the cabin. Okay. I don't know if you can get in there and yeah. look around. So you get like a futon type mattress? Right, right. So it's a four and a half inch um, foam mattress. It's super comfortable and it, it can be uh, configured as this in this couch configuration, and then you pull it out, and it's a true queen size mattress that's 80 by 60. Okay. And and you have an electric heater. 
Um, yes, we just have a space heater. The frigid this, air? This actually is an air conditioner. Oh, it is? Yeah. Okay. So that's an air conditioner, and you can actually use it off-grid, and and, uh, and there's, we have an independent suspension, so we're off-grid, off-road, um, but we're trying to find a space that's more comfortable than most of the <clears throat> the off-grid, off-road sure. trailers. That it's kind of a, a, a space that feels really inviting and open okay. and comfortable. And this lower shelf here um, lifts out, and you can place it. Here, I can show you. This. Oh, I like that. And you can move it over here, and you can sit with a laptop oh, and beautiful. a cup of coffee. Beautiful. And you can put it over here, and it's kind of nice to sit with like a tablet when when you're in in bed. This is a nice little place to put your tablet, watch a movie. So those are just keyed out for it, yeah, right? Exactly. It's not a sliding track, it's just a key. Right. Okay. Exactly. And then when you're when you're rolling, it kind of locks in here. Okay. And that's your stowed position okay. when you're moving. And that's a vinyl plank floor? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's really super durable, super water resistant. Okay. Uh, easy to clean. And then there's shelving all around the perimeter right. up above, you know, and I was able to put all my clothes, blankets. Stuff in. Now, do you guys? This is all sprayed with Linex or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. This has a polyurea coating okay. on the running boards and the and the fenders. Okay, so it's good against getting chipped and dinged. Right, and, right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And the and the construction, the panels are a uh, sandwich. It's a vacuum laminated sandwich panel. So the fiberglass skins and a, a high density EPS core. Okay. <clears throat> we make those ourselves. And they're extremely structural, highly insulating, and low and, and light. Okay. So, uh, so it makes for a really great panel. And, and like this morning, you remember, Derek? I mean, there was uh, there was ice. This yeah, morning. I know there was definite frost here this morning. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was you know below freezing, and just with my body heat, I ran the space heater for 15 minutes. Totally <laughs> I ran my yeah, I was running my uh, big buddy. And uh -huh. uh, on two burners and uh, in my tent, and it takes quite a bit in the tent because the tent doesn't hold right. the heat in. Right, right. Yeah, it's a really highly insulated space, and so that's nice for your AC when it's hot and for your heat when right. it's cold. Right. So what's something like this weigh as far as towing? This is about 2,100 pounds dry. Okay, so you could tow it with a, uh, you could almost yeah. tow it with anything, right? Yeah, right. You could tow it with... Uh, any sort of larger SUV, like a like a Honda Pilot or right. a, a Toyota Highlander, any kind of pickup, any sort of small right, pickup, right. minivan, you know, any of those Jeep, right? Any any Jeep vehicle. Uh, it comes with a spare. Right. Now, what about the bolt pattern? Is it a standard trailer bolt pattern or is it an auto bolt? It's a five bolt pattern. That's a good question. I I I um I don't know. You don't know. I, I don't know the answer. Good question. Okay, because I know a lot of these. Um, you can get them, if you order them, they'll customize sure. the bolt pattern to fit your tow vehicle yes. so that you can carry one spare right. and you put the same tires on all. Right. Yeah, and you, you could ditch a spare because maybe you have one spare and right. you decide that's enough. Right. Right. So that just l lightens the load. You know, sure. hell, a tire weighs 100 pounds. Right. So, and, right. well, a big one, a 35. About 50 pounds for this one with the, with right. the wheel and the tire. Right, but if you get a, a custom wheel with a a 35 or 37 oh yeah you know right now could those flares be opened up enough to get a 35 under there yeah they can be wider it's a challenge for us to get taller okay um because it's it mounting of the uh, of the of the fender but you could put a little bit of a lift on it yes right yeah okay and it comes with jacks yes so leveling jacks yeah we've got leveling thanks for bringing that up yeah we have leveling jacks actually four all the way around okay which is a little bit of a extra cost but it's really quite nice for right. leveling. and i see you've got a yakima awning on this yeah one. yeah we have this awning obviously you can do different awnings okay you know maybe uh, something that's full length yeah or a 270 do, yeah yeah one or you know really just 180 would 180 with that kind of match right. up with the hat so like a full <clears throat> 180 yeah and we also have a rooftop tent which okay. I took off to come here because okay. I didn't need it. What kind of a rooftop tent do you put up we there? We have the Rome Adventure okay. Company rooftop tent. Okay, so that's a soft side? Yes. Okay. Right. So those are lightweight and easy to pack. Right. Okay. Well, great. Right. Um, well, I thank you for sharing this. Dang. And uh, we uh, hope you do well with Thanks, this prototype. Derek. And Thanks, we'll put this out and hopefully you get some traction on hey, it. Hey, that's great. I really appreciate it. Thanks you got it. Derek. Thanks a lot.